horsey people, we're back with Rival Stars Horse Racing and as promised, we are going to be doing the three C's breeding. What is that? That's uh, cream, champagne and cremellos. Uh, okay, I, I know cremellos are kind of like creams and champagnes. Okay, but I just, I like the sound of the three C's, you know, because I'm sad. Anyway, let's get cracking. So today we're just going to be breeding horses that have the cream gene or the champagne gene and that gives us our beautiful colouring such as this you see so this is a flax and chestnut with the double cream but firstly first we have a surprise random fall that i totally forgot about last video which i feel really awful for just want to say a massive thank you to all my channel members i you guys i really really appreciate it especially at the moment uh, guys thank you thank you okay so for all that suggested names as well of course you guys will get a shout out if your name is selected today i'm sure it will be selected today so let's crack on and see what the first random surprise fall that i totally forgot about this was the uh like the forgotten fall <gasps> it's really cool I can't believe I forgot that I had this fall waiting. What should we name her? I think we need to skip her to Max. I'm not sure what color this is. Oh, she's like, yeah, I've never had this color. This uh, is a rich brown, uh, I think, with a champagne dilute. Let's have a look. Oh, it's one of those. Cute, love it. Nice. Cool. I love that. It's so cute. Um, we are going to be breeding like fudge today because fudge has a cream dilute and stuff like that. So anybody who's carrying cream dilute and stuff like that, we are going to be breeding them today. I'm really excited. I think we're going to breed some cool colours. I'm hoping we'll actually get some like Ah, oh, Cremellos out of this, some really rare colours, some rare, rare shades basically. So I'm super excited. But what is your favourite coat colour? And you don't need to say why. Just tell me what your favourite coat colour is. For me, it's the grey at the moment. I do like a Palomino and I love a Cremello and stuff. But at the moment, it's definitely that like grey. Oh, hang on, I'll show you guys. I've got one here. Not you. Actually, you. Yes, this one. The rich brown with the grey dilute is one of my favourite colours ever at the moment. Along with this one too. Absolutely beautiful. Love it, love it, love it. So, let's go straight into our first falls. And let's hope that we have bred one of the three C's. Wahahaha. <laughs> Don't know why it needs an evil laugh. Oh, it's so cute. Okay, I'm going to predict the colour. I think it's a flaxen chestnut with a double cream dilute. I think that's what this is. I think. Oh, with just one cream dilute. Oh, so close. Really sweet. We're going to sell her straight out. She's gorgeous. But we're not actually going to keep some of them today unless they're like super duper unique. Obviously, we are breeding creams and cremellos. Um, Actually, I need to go and... I do have another stallion somewhere. Let's see. How do I get onto the... I never know how I can get like onto the colours rather than the stats. Maybe you never could and I'm going completely mad. Let's find a fresh stallion. Let's mix things up a little bit. Let's see if there's like... Okay, yes. Fantastic. Another Palomino stallion. That's exactly what we wanted. Here we go. Um, but guys, any ideas that you have for the channel, anything you'd like to see more of, could you let me know in the comments section below? I'm all ears, okay? Okay, let's go straight into the next fall. Oh, oh, she's pretty. I just have a horrible feeling that she might turn into... Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I think this could turn into a bay. I think this could turn into a bay. Let's see. Let's skip her to Mare and see. Oh, man. Yep. Thought it. Cute. We're going to sell Spoon. She is beautiful. But yeah, we've we've bred this coat pattern loads of times. I'm just hoping we get some sort of really unique kind of creamy, champagne-y thing. You know? Let's go straight into Barbie. Let's see what Barbie can do for us. Oh, really? So apparently mixing Cremellos is like 
or cream jeans is like a recipe for like dark bays and blacks. So she's a level 10 filly, which is always a good sign. But she's like a chestnut with a grey. How has this happened? Okay, I'm, I totally misjudged this one. Okay, well, let's sell the full straight out. She's really sweet. Uh, amazing. Okay, let's go to the, let's find a new stallion then. Okay, oh my gosh. Maybe I should just use my, my stallion. Uh, we do need something with a cream. Okay, is it cheating that I'm just using Palominos all the time? Oh, this one's glitched. That's nice. Um, who should we breed today? I don't know. Uh, yeah, let's try these two. So we've got Goldfish Limit and Fudge. Goldfish is a great name for a horse. We've still got Pearly waiting there, who is a beautiful colour, might I add. We actually made her in the last video. If you guys missed that, go and check the playlist. We've got a Rival Stars horse racing playlist, so yeah. There's, um, there's a lot of videos on there. <laughs> I've been playing this game nearly three years, I think. Uh, yeah, we must be... I know, it's over three years. I think YouTube next October will be my fourth year of having YouTube. Oh, Penny is a beautiful colour. Let's have a look at breeding these two together. I'm so excited about Penny. She's going to be wicked. Got Fudge again. And we've got little Pearly. Okay, let's go straight to Pearly. She's cool. And she's a splash white. Really? Uh, This could be a bit of a dark horse this could turn out to be a really cool color actually i don't know whether i'm to be disappointed or whether to be excited about that but let's just have a look through the comment section a little bit let's have a look at some name suggestions you guys have put um rival stars names here we go it's from caitlin 2460 i'm gonna skip to stallion and i'm gonna use one of your names Oh, I know. Oh, we've got loads of cool ones. Barley! You remember me when the west wind moves among the fields of barley. There you go. Love it. Oh, it looks like Bart. Oh, it's such a cool looking horse. It's a Rabicano, which gives it that kind of white tail. I'm going to get a picture of this stallion. It's really cool. It's like a... I don't know. It kind of reminds me of Winnie the Pooh for some reason. I don't know why, because Winnie the Pooh is a lot more yellow than that. He's a rich brown with a cream dilute. Ooh, I like him. I think we need to use him as a stallion. Let's set him as a stud. Let's do it. So stats coat. Should we research his hidden genes? Okay. A classic chestnut. Oh, but with the blanket pinned to loose. So that could, that could work. Cool. I'm going to use him as stud for a minute. Let's discover these next two foals. And yeah, let's, uh, let's, um, let's breathe the next one. Okay, let's go. Oh, it's so unexpected. I'm not sure whether I love that or whether I'm a bit like, ooh, that, that's nice. Caitlin, let's use one of your names again, but actually, I, I don't know whether to... I think this is just a classic chestnut, isn't it? Oh, yeah. So actually, we're going to sell the full up, but Caitlin, will we, we will use more of your names. A. Hollingsworth, of course, we'll use your names as well. And everybody else who has uh, suggested some names, I do appreciate it. Okay, Barley, you're up. Let's we could breed with our market mares. I kind of want to breed with this one because the hair's glitched on it. And I think it's pretty cool. Imagine having orange mane and tail. That would be kind of cool. Um, Actually, who is he related to? Okay, Pearly. Okay, fine. Just don't breed with Pearly. Let's go with like Marshmallow then. Uh, we've got Promising Mischief and we have Penny. So let's go straight to Penny. This I'm very excited about this one. I think Penny is one of my favorite colors as well. Ooh, ooh, strange little foal. Love or hate, guys? What do you think? Hate is a very strong word, but what do you guys think? Emma Small, 7936. You have come up with some cool names. So let's skip this one to Mare. And let's use one of your names. So this is Emma Small. Jelly Bean. Oh, Jelly Bean, Jelly, jelly Tot. Whisper. Millie Pippa. Wait, are we, uh, yes, we need mare names. Cool. Dancer Erin, Flicker, Angel, Astra. Astra's kind of cool. It's like a spacey name. Ooh, I'm not sure whether I like this mare or not. I know it's awful, but I've not had this shade before. I'm pretty sure. Okay, so I think... Would that be a chestnut with a cream dilute? Oh, it would. I've not had this colour before. So actually, it's a classic chestnut with a double champagne with the lavish leopard. 
Yeah, I just want to get a picture of this because this is definitely like a shade that I don't think I've had before. I don't think I have anyway. Cool. Our first double champagne on a classic chestnut though. Well, we'll be breeding her in a moment. That'd be great. And I think she... Yes, she's not related to barley. So actually, let's breed her with barley. And let's see what we get, shall we, everybody? Where's she gone? Where is barley gone? Oh, there's Astra. Sorry. It's Astra, that's who we want. Okay. Let's go for it. This is going to be a very interesting combination. Should we go straight to it? Yeah, okay, let's do it. Oh, oh yes, I knew something good was going to happen. I'm not a big fan of the lavish Pinto, but the shade of the fall is cool. And it's it's making me a bit itchy that uh, the Philly's not a level 10. But, you know, let's just get a quick, quick picture because I think that's super duper cute. Oh, love it. Uh, we'll definitely use one of Emma Small's names again as well. But we're just going to care for fall for a minute because I'm going to go all crazy and... Uh, Take a picture. Let's call her Libby after the greyhound you sadly had to put down. I'm really sorry to hear that. Animals just leave the biggest hole, don't they? Like, I just I love animals so much. And uh, when they leave us, you know, you know, they leave such a hole. But at least, you know, you've given them the best love and life that you could have given them. You know, I love this. This is such a cool colour horse. I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay. Let's age her up then and see what she looks like as a mare, shall we? Oh, new mare Libby. Yeah, it's really cool. I think... Okay, so I'm going to predict... Okay, um... What colour is this? What are we going to predict? I think she is maybe a chest... Is she going to be a chestnut with a double cream? Oh, a flaxen chestnut with a double cream. That's close though, right? We can definitely find a new Palomino or a new cream carrying stallion for these mares. Okay, so these two are going to be Barley's Falls. And uh, then we'll try and find a new stallion, I think. One that we normally wouldn't use. Oh my goodness. Love the coat pattern. So, oh, that's so weird how it comes out. So that's a chestnut with a grey dilu. That's so weird. Okay, let's sell the straight out. So sweet, but obviously we are breeding the three C's today. Cream, Cremello, and Champagne. Even though in my dyslexic world, I feel like Champagne should be spelt with an S. Okay, uh, let's go with Pearly and Barley. I think it's... Oh, no. Cancel. No, no. Hold up. Oh, narrowly missed, everybody. No, let's stick with the original plan. I was going to find a new stallion. I think this coat here carries a champagne. Champagne colour, I think. Let, let's test it out. One of my least favourite coat pans, but at least it's a bit different. And maybe we might breed some something really, really unique. You never know. Let's go with Marsh. Oh, no, Marshmallow has one. Let's go with... Oh, no, I have two Marshmallows. I spelt one with a W and one without. Oh, no. Okay, I really need some name suggestions. I'm using names twice now. Okay, let's go straight to Marshmallow here then, with a W. <laughs> Ooh, that's cool. Oh, I really like that. I really like that. Okay, so this is a rich brown with no daddy. Yeah. <laughs> We're going to sell the full out. She's not one of the three C's, which pains me obviously we probably could have kept her she probably had the hidden gene you know so blah 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 but here we go um who should we breed with that old fudge libby oh let's breed with libby okay this is so exciting i think though just to break it up a little bit let's go for a bit of a steeplechase i haven't been for a steeplechase in a while and actually i kind of fancy it it's not something i've particularly focused on in the game in general just because I just haven't. I just, I just haven't. Oh, let's take Marshmallow. Mallow. Um, yeah, I just, when I was playing it, it wasn't part of the story mode and it is now, you see. 900 meter race. Oh no. And I'm on a horse that doesn't particularly like that. So that's going to be really great. 
Uh oh. Okay, you ready everyone? Oh, I don't know if we're going to do very well today. I'm on a custom creation though. Oh, I think we're probably going to do okay. Oh, we're leaving them behind. Look at that. It's too easy, guys. It's too easy. Steeple chasing in general is just too easy, I think. Oh right, yeah, this is this is far too easy. Oh dear. At least it's a short one. I don't think I could play this if it was like a really long race today. Okay, we totally smashed that. Easy. Easy peasy. Da, 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 da. Cool. Lovely. Okie dokie. Okay. I, I love this. The steeple chasing is really lovely. The mechanics are great, but it needs to be harder. That's what I think. Okay, let's go to the next three falls. Now, this was with a slightly different stallion. One that I normally wouldn't pick. It's that sort of dirty shoulder color thing so i think it'll be interesting to see what horses kind of come out so let's just have a look let's go straight to libby first oh what is this oh no it's the dirty shoulder color but i think it could be a dilute of some sort let's check the color first uh let's predict the color what's the color going to be is it a bay with a double champagne Oh, it's a bay with one champagne. Okay, well, let's give him the stallion because he has got the champagne colour. And uh, I'm just going to get my comments back up with names. Maisie Bees. You've come up with some cool names. Oh, definitely this name. Okay, I'm going to tell you a fact about my life because my parents basically are nuts. They're great. Nuts in a good way. Nuts in a good way. And um, they have this bear that they call Bangladesh and they like... Put him on social media. It's 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 mad. Anyway, I'll come from a long line of, of crazy people. It's good. Wow, so Barnaby here is a blood bay with a champagne crane. So why don't we set him as stud, mix him up with some of the other palominos, and we'll see what we get. I think that'd be really cool. But firstly, let's discover marshmallow and pearly. Let's go. A little bay with matching white socks. How adorable. That is the most adorable fall. Just a standard bay. Love it. Let's sell the fall straight out though. She's not what we're after today. Any other day I'd say let's keep her. But yeah, it's got to be a th one of the three C's. Okay, let's mix Barnaby then with some of our other Palominoes. That could be a weird mix. Not normally something I would do. But let's, let's see what these two like produce. Could be something awesome. I don't know whether I want to combine... Let's go with Barbie for a minute. Yeah, I don't know whether I want to combine like the champagne with a cream to mix it all up or whether we need to just go like champagne on champagne. Do you know what I mean? Next fall. Oh, it's my favorite color gray. Level 10 filly. Yeah, if you guys have time, as I say, jot down some names in the comment section below. Of course, you guys get a shout out in the next video. We're all about that. This is a black horse with a gray dilute. I kind of want to see what she looks like as a mare, but, big but, we've run out of room in the stable block, so I don't know what to do. Because she's not one of the three Cs, this is really painful. I'm going to have to sell her, even though that is one of my favourite colours of all time. Okay, fine. Well, that wasn't painful at all. And uh, let's breed, let's go here, intense impact. I don't know what colour this has got. Oh, it's a rich black with a champagne. Interesting. Let's Let's put those two together then. Okay, so we've got Intense Impact, which is, both parents are carrying a copy of the Champagne Gene. Fudge is also carrying a Champagne Gene. Uh, Barbie's cream. Okay, cool. So let's go straight to Intense Impact. Can't believe that is this horse's name. Ooh, ooh, um, um, yeah, let's 
kind of cute. I mean, I think that's one of the ugliest. I don't want to be horrible. I think that's one of the ugliest foals I've ever seen. Oh, I'm so sorry. All creatures are beautiful. But this is my this is my least favorite I think I've ever bred. I'm so sorry, little mare. You're going off to brand new stud who is going to love you forever and ever and ever. Uh, thank you, Cara, Cara Armsford. Uh, our old person here, but hardly ever commenting. I started watching you when you were mostly using your account with Lady and Push Rush. The oldest video of yours that I watched was published two years ago, which means I'm still learning to watch videos in English without subtitles. Thank you for making lovely horsey comfort zones for every single one of us. Oh, I love that English isn't your first language and you're still like awesome at it. Amazing. Thank you to everybody. How long have you been watching the channel for? And was there a specific game that brought you to the channel? It'd be interesting to know. Maybe you came off of a really random video, maybe like an old Star Stable video or something. I don't know. Let me know. Oh, cute. Okay, so apparently we're not breeding any creams now. He's beautiful. But yeah, thank you guys so much for all your name suggestions. You guys have really been great this time around. Oh, Splattered Sabino is beautiful, but not what we're after today. Apparently we're not breeding any creams anymore. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> okay, Barbie or The Last of Us. And then in a minute, I might just cheat and go use a different stallion. Clearly the stallion that I normally wouldn't use hasn't really worked out, but one last attempt to see if it's worth it. <gasps> okay, no, it didn't work. <laughs> okay, we're going to go back and use another stallion. Oh, no. So this is just your... I don't know what this is. This is just... A... I don't know. Let's sell the full straight out. Let's go again, everybody. Thank you to everybody who has suggested chocolate-themed names. We are going to be having a chocolate-themed breeding thing. So all the foals that come out are going to have, like, chocolate names, basically. Okay, right. There's a Palomino. Oh, let's go for it. Let's find another mare. Or let's use maybe some new people. Let's use Penny. Yeah, let's bring out the pretty, the pretty ponies. Let's bring out all the pretty ones. And actually, I've got a really cool stallion in a minute that I'd like to use as well. But we're just using the random Palomino stallions off of the market place thing here. Because why not? Okay, are you ready, guys? We're just going to go bum, bum, bum into some foals. Oh, yes. Cute. I think I'm going to have to go through and sort out stabling. Oh, my goodness. Look at her coat color. A frosty pinto. Never bred that one before. I'm pretty sure. Let's skip it to mare. But yeah. Okay. So what we're going to do, let's calve the fold for a minute. Um, oh, we've got so many names coming through. Thank you, everyone. Flutter Moth. I raced against a horse called the Wallpaper once because I did ask you guys what's the weirdest name that you have seen on Rival Stars. Uh, one of you guys suggested or you said Floppy Sausage. I thought it was hilarious because I have I'm very immature. Okay, let's have a look. Ooh, Leo Nelly, I love your name. Uh, you've got some cool names. R Rudy Rudolph. Sh hang on, Sh Shukra, Shukra, Shukra. Sh uh, is that? Is that the name of a, like um, an old ancient um like a chakra chakra that's what I'm thinking of is it like an old uh, talisman type I'm gonna sell these even though I spent all my money on them last time from the market these are in fact market mares but we do need to make some space for the through seas and we are going to use ray in a minute ray's a custom creation stallion flex and chestnut with a double cream i think he's going to do some damage and actually we're going to end up hopefully breeding some actual horses uh, of the three seas so that'll be great because at the moment i mean we have bred a few of those today even leaf carries the gene look he's double cream i mean how's this happened mozart's pretty cool might put mozart out in or do i sell mozart Oh, that's a tough one, but I think we'll have to sell him. Oh, that's painful because he's so nice. Mm. 
But yeah, thank you guys so much for all your lovely comments. I'm just reading some of them now. I'm quite busy at weekends at the moment. Um, I sell horses in the real in the real world, and uh, yeah, it's it's good. Business is good. Uh, I'm really enjoying it. Uh, it just means I'm quite busy, so I don't have time to be on my phone. Well, I'm always on my blinking phone, but um, yeah, it's just like, um, yeah, like oh, I don't know. Just um. It's great fun. It's really great fun. When it goes well, it's great fun. So I've got vettings all week. Everybody wants five-stage vettings for their horses now, thanks to insurance companies, uh, which is great. And uh, yeah, fingers crossed it all goes well. But it does mean I'm, I'm quite busy in real life, but not as busy or str I'm not stressed anymore, guys. I'm quite happy, actually. It's really nice. I'm finally happy. It's, it's a weird sensation because I've always had such a busy brain that it's hard for me to zone out. So, like, I won't just be able to watch a film and watch a film. Like, I'm always, my brain's always going. But now it's getting to the point that I'm coming back and, like, I can actually watch a film and not have any stress. Oh, so this, this was, this Shukra was so cute. I'm probably saying that wrong. It is such a pretty colour. So, let's go back to the fossils. We've got Barbie waiting and Penny. And then I think let's use, these are uh, Stallion Ray for the last three falls for today. Oh, cute! Oh, same Copan. The frosty, the frosty Pinto strikes again. This is a chestnut with one champagne. Nice. So let's have a look at some names. Hey, Hollingsworth, you've come up with some names. You come up with more musical names. Wagner Strauss. Berlioz is a great name because it reminds me of the cat from, um, I know that she's a female, but I think Verdi kind of works for a female. I know these are all men. Um... Berlioz reminds me of the cat from Aristocats. So Verdi's pretty. She's more ginger, more chestnut. Classic chestnut with the champagne dilute. So we bred a champagne. We bred quite a few champagnes. In fact, we bred a cream. We bred a double cream. Cool. We have yet to breed a cremello. Or does this classify as a cremello? I think this probably does classify as a cremello. I don't know actually. She looks more like an Isabella Palomino. Okay, let's go straight to Penny. Oh, that's an interesting colour. That I've not had that colour before. What do you think that is? What do you guys predict that is? For all of you that have not tried or watched Ranch of the River Shine videos, take a hit. Honestly. I'm addicted to the game. It's fantastic. That's all I'm saying. You guys, if you don't try it because you think you don't like the look of it, don't, don't, don't. Go and try it. Oh, this is cool. I'm just going to skip to the good part, which is to the stallion. And uh, let's have a look at some more names. Oh, let's have a look. Let's have a looky cookie. Um, yeah, guys, I really need some more name suggestions. Thank you, everybody who does. Oh, I love your videos. That's from Horseland. Horseland. Did anybody play that game? This is like, this is like 20 years ago, guys. Oh, here's some names from Emily Kemp. I haven't heard from you in a while, Emily Kemp. These are all boys' names, which is perfect. Because now I have Stanley. Let's call this one Connor. Let's see what he looks like. Every Connor I've met has been naughty. Oh, pretty. Sorry if you're called Connor. That is a really cool colour. I've not bred that colour before. Oh my gosh, look at him. This is a classic uh, brown with double champagne and it's also a frosty pinto. Let's get a picture of him. Wow, I'm super chuffed with that. That is beautiful. Wow. That's so cool. So we have officially ran out of stables, which is kind of a bit pants. We've got three empty stables. I think let's just use Ray as the last, the last melon, as the last option here. Let's go with some of our latest foals we've just bred. Libby's pretty. So I think both of these are cream carriers. Are we going to breed our Cremello today? I don't know. Cremello is kind of like really faint. It's kind of like her colour, I think. I don't, I'm not sure, actually. I don't know anymore. If I think about it too much, I don't know. Pearly is beautiful. Love her. Libby's really pretty. 
and so is Shukra. So we've got three very beautiful mares here. So let's go and discover the last three falls for today. Oh, okay. That is not a pearl, but it's absolutely stupid. Um, super. I didn't mean to say stupid. That came out wrong. This is a classic brown half splash. I kind of want to keep the foal because it's really cool. <laughs> but let's sell the foal straight out. Oh my gosh, it's painful to do this. Okay, we've got Libby. Let's go. <gasps> oh, he, this one could be pretty cool, but I don't know what to do. I've run out of room. Let's have a look and see what colour this is. Actually, let's get some photos first. Really sweet. Oh, okay. So she's a she's a dark. Oh, I don't know what this is. Brown with the cream dilute. Let's just care for full for a minute. Snow parsnip. That is an excellent name. Oh, we've got some more names from Emily Kemp. This is cool. You've actually got some lady names too. So we've got Jesse, I think. Jess. Oh, that's a spell in the boy griffin's a cool name oh here we go girl names ava sophia mia amelia is a nice name chloe that's a great name um ellie let's call this one ellie my cousin is called ellie here we go okay let's age this one up to me i can't do it okay tell you what let's sell a horse who am i gonna sell maybe we should sell this one i don't know to sell okay i'm gonna sell leaf Feel a bit bad about that, but leave. Cute. Okay, let's skip to math. That's a cool colour. Very similar to fudge. That is a cool colour horse. Look at that. So that's just a rich brown with a cream dilute. And obviously we had a few new coat shades with the update of a couple of new coats so that was cool um because obviously the color variations all the variations came with a new coat color okay guys i am gonna wrap up today i've really enjoyed it it's been really fun to have a bit of a test so if there are any colors that you guys challenge me to breed let me know in the comment section below i'll, I'll do it okay i'll try i might cry but we'll see what we can go okay let's go last fall for today is it going to be one of the three C's? I'm not sure. Looks like a flax and chestnut to me. But a really spotty one. <laughs> cute! I'm going to get a picture because that is cute. I'm going to think of a name that's probably... Oh, it's just a flax and chestnut. Okay. Well, we're going to care for Fall for a minute and we'll leave her in there and we'll call her one of... Emily's names again. Is it Emily? It is Emily, isn't it? Am I going crazy? Why wow, have so many names here? Emily Camp. Yes. Let's find another name for this one. Let's call this one Layla. Named after my other cousin. Layla. Okay, I couldn't spell it for a minute. Nice. Okay, so today was hugely successful. Did we manage to breed our Cremella we wanted? I'm not sure. I don't think we did, unless you count her as a Cremello. Libby's probably the closest to Cremello. Barnaby is a very strange colour, but he's still a champagne. So we had a lot of champagnes going on. Right, this one's very cool. He looks like me when I've got no mascara on. And then, yeah, we just had a real range of really awesome cream dilutes today. So that was super fun. Thank you guys. If you've enjoyed it, please don't forget to give the video a thumbs up if you can. Really appreciate it. Have a wholesome rest of your day. See you in the next one. Bye.